Hello everybody, it's Drew 1000 back here with another awesome episode of A Day in the Life of a Blind Guy. Today I'm here uh, in my living room. I'm going to show you how I do Pilates. This is actually pretty much my first time doing it, so I have my friend and expert Pilates instructor Kim here. Say hi, Kim. Hi, guys. How's it going? Yeah. All right. Well, she's going to be taking me through a few basics, the basics of Pilates, and showing me, showing me, and I guess showing you also how it all works. So I think, I think we'll get started, Kim. All right. Let's get started. So I'm just going to have him start with his feet separated hip distance apart, and we're going to glide the shoulder blades down the back creating a nice long space between the ear and the shoulder. So we really want to focus on this good posture before we start anything else. Mm -hmm. um, so his arms are going to be long against his side. His rib cage is going to be pulled down. There's a lot to remember in Pilates. It's one of the things that you have to remember is that there's a lot to remember. <laughs> so keeping the tailbone tucked under, we're going to keep that rib cage pulled in. He's going to slowly dive the chin down. We're just loosening up those parts of the body that are tense throughout the majority of our everyday activities mm. and focusing into the core I'm just gonna let him hang there for a few deep breaths while he relaxes his shoulders his neck his low back and then he's gonna slowly rebuild the spine stacking one vertebrae on top of the other keeping the hips over the ankles good pulling in those deepest abdominals navel back into the spine we're stacking the vertebrae not letting the head come up yet that comes up last and then we keep the chin nice and neutral, lifting the crown of the head towards the ceiling. It's those tiny movements that help us really create a longer spine and better posture. Um, so you won't feel like you're doing a lot, but it really lengthening those upper thoracic vertebrae uh, makes a huge difference in our everyday mm -hmm. life and everyday movement. So now that he's ready to go, we're gonna lay down on the mat and begin some core exercises. So All we're gonna right. lay down, Drew. Okay, on my stomach or my back? On your back. So he's going to lay down with his head all the way down, his arms extended by his sides. Good fingers are nice and extended, and he's going to bend the knees about feet or hip distance apart, exactly. And we're going to go into our pelvic curls, our pelvic tilt into a curl, sorry. So he's going to start with his low spine. He's going to connect that rib cage down toward the pelvic area and then slowly peel off the mat one vertebrae at a time, similar to like how we did in the beginning. So we're peeling off. Exactly, lifting the pelvic muscles all the way up toward the ceiling. Good, and he's gonna hold it there for one deep inhale. And then exhale, he's gonna reconnect one vertebrae at a time, starting at the upper spine, and then slowly working down all the way to the tailbone. Yep, so we're creating more space in between each vertebrae and really trying to lengthen the spine as we strengthen the abdominals at the same time. So he's gonna inhale, good, curling up, peeling off. Yep, trying to bring that navel down into the spine. Good, keep going. Go all the way up. Yeah, so we're really also engaging the hamstrings here too. Uh, stabilizing the body with the hamstrings is key. So we wanna keep it out of the thigh. So we're gonna lower down again, one vertebrae at a time, relaxing the rib cage. Navel sinks down into the spine. Very nice, shoulders are nice and relaxed, fingers are long. So many things to remember. Uh, one more time, and this time I'm going to have him hold it up there. So we're going to inhale and exhale. Good. So these teeny tiny movements are really essential too to creating a change in your body and what you do in everything. They are. I can definitely feel it. <laughs> yes. This, this Pilates is a silent killer. Uh, good. So then I would have him do a couple other things in the, normally in a class here, but um, just for time saving purposes, I'm going to have him come down and try something else. So go ahead and roll all the way back down. And we're going to go into our roll up. So he's going to lengthen the legs all the way straight, laying all the way down. Good. And he's going to lift his arms up overhead. Perfect. Now the key here is most people will arch the low back and flare the rib cage open. I'm guilty of it too. So what we have to remember is to connect the rib cage toward the pelvic area and flatten that low back against the mat so we protect the low back from any injury. Mm -hmm. And he's going to inhale the arms up overhead. Good, arms come over overhead. And then exhale, he knows what he's doing. Curl up off the mat, good. Keeping the feet together, legs straight. He's gonna inhale, 
down and stretch the body as long as possible. Good. And then as he exhales, he's going to roll back down again, connecting one vertebrae at a time. Good. So we'll see you in the next little round. Arms are long, palms facing each other. Good. Nice and slow. So the slower, the better. It's definitely not a race, employees. The slower, the better. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> so again, connect the ribcage. Low back is firmly pressed against the mat. We inhale, the arms come up overhead. Oh, I got it. You got it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, we peel up nice and slow. Good. That was better. And we face the palms toward each other. Good. Inhale for a nice stretch. And then we reconnect tailbone first. Good. Really trying to get that navel to sink down into the spine. Mm -hmm. And as each vertebrae reconnects, we create more space in between. Lengthening the spine, not clearing rib cage. Last one. And I'm going to have you stay up this time. Yeah. So inhale, arms up overhead. Okay, I'll try one more time. <laughs> nice and slow. Very nice. That was very good control that time. All right, going into rolling like a ball. So he's going to stay on his sits bones and he's going to bend the knees up toward his chest, placing one hand on each, yes, shin, upper shin. And we're mm -hmm. going to lift the feet all the way off the ground and extend our spine straight. So lift your heels up off the ground. Yep. And this is called rolling like a ball. So he's going to roll all the way back through shoulder blades, lifting the hips up off the mat. Yep, you can go even faster than that. And then slip. <laughs> And coming back up to his sits bones, he's going to use his momentum. Perfect. And then the key uh, here uh, is to yeah, not yeah. let the feet touch. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, try and find your stable. Okay. On your sits bones, extend the spine. Yes, exactly. And now he's going to roll back onto his shoulder blades nice and fast. You can go fast. And then back up to his sits bones. Yep, you can use your momentum. And then find your balance. Uh, right. I, I didn't do that. Harder than it there looks we like. got it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Yeah. So he's really just trying to balance on his sits bones. Yeah. And still create a good posture. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. That's right. Posture. Yes. So without flying the rib cage, open up the chest. Exactly. And we roll back. You can go fast. Yep. There it is. And use your momentum. Come back up. Use those abs. Fight it. You got it. Okay. There it is. There it is. Oh, I feel I trust you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a minute, right? It does. It does. Now, if you can, try and keep your, you can keep your knees together a little more. Oh, yeah, yeah. And roll back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you do rolling like a ball. It is. I'm, <laughs> I'm a certified, uh, almost Your professional. Guru. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to roll onto our side. So he's going to roll onto his left side. So we just did a little uh, abdominal workout there in the beginning. And now we're going to do a little bit of obliques. Yes. Um, go ahead and lay all the way straight. So we're going to bring our arms back in line with our hips. So everything is nice and in line, and he's gonna bring, yes, exactly, his hand in front of his belly button. Okay. And we're gonna do take a Pilates V. So all this is really doing is opening up the hip flexors and, and really just opening up the hip in general. He's gonna point the toe up toward the ceiling with mm -hmm. a straight leg. Mm -hmm. Really extend, so we're in nice long lines. That's the golden Pilates. And then we flex our feet before we bring the heel down and reconnect with the other foot. Oh, okay. So he's pointing the toe. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I want to bring down, yeah. Exactly, almost like you're supposed to paint so we're going to point the toe up toward the ceiling. Point. <laughs> this, uh, okay, okay. Exactly. And then flex and drawing the inner thigh toward the other inner thigh. We're drawing our, exactly, heel down toward the other heel. And again, so lifting up, pointing. Exactly. And flex. <laughs> yep, really trying to turn out more so that we're engaging the proper oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay. And again, one more. So we're pointing and painting our and now stroking and then flex down. Good. Now for the silent killer. We're going to point the toe and we're going to draw a big circle with our foot, essentially. So I want you to bring the foot back with the knee straight, up, forward, and down. So you're drawing a circle with that foot. And the key here is to extend your leg out away from your hip 
as much as possible so we're creating nice long lines and still controlling our center yeah without moving in this section good this is harder than it looks folks <laughs> mm -hmm. and one more good and then if you really want to challenge yourself you switch directions before you come back down okay and do about five this or so there Taking out some muscles I didn't know I had. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So again, most people will try and scrunch the midsection. We really want to lengthen from the hip mm -hmm. as we circle so that we're creating more space again in the spine and in the hip section. Good. Oh, this is starting to feel it. Very nice. Great. Good job, Drew. All right, let's go into our, actually let's go into our obliques before we go into our climb. So okay. it's staying straight. Yeah. He's going to lift palms for the ceiling. He's going to lift his palms and legs up at the same time, creating an oblique crunch mm -hmm. and stabilizing that midsection again. Yep. And then lower down on the exhale. Sorry, exhale up. Same here, lower down. So most people tend to rock back. So I really want to keep him nice and steady and square. Hips, hips stacked one on top of the other. Of course, when she say most people, that's not me. <laughs> Great job. His hips are stacked one on top of the other, yeah. and he's using his breath as he crunches up and not using his momentum. That's the key. Good job. All right, mm -hmm. so that's the obliques exercise. So now we're going to bend our knees into a clam. So 90 degrees to bend the knees in. Oh, yeah. You remember this one? Yeah, uh, kind of. Kind of. So now we're going to bend so that our bend again. Mm -hmm. Bend the knee. What? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. yeah, Exactly, so we're having a 90 degree angle with the knee and the hip, mm -hmm. and he's just gonna, these are small movements, but they really um, focus into a, a hip stabilization. So he's gonna open the knee without letting the toe. Oh, yeah, yeah, without moving, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you see what he did there a little bit, he rocked back. It, tiny movements uh, make a big difference, but we don't want that hip to rock back. We just wanna open up so that he doesn't move anything else except for the knee. So most people will try and open up the knee as far as they can and they, their hips will move. So the goal is to stabilize. Yeah. Very good. And now we can roll over to the other side. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll just go through a couple of these so you guys see what it looks like from the other, yeah. other yeah. side and then we'll go on to more fun stuff. Yep. So again, he's going to paint the paint with his paintbrush foot. He's going to lift the leg up, pointed toes. Top leg comes up with the pointed foot. Point, point, point. There you go. And then flex, heel comes down. Good. So toe point up. Yep. <laughs> Keep it up. And flex, heel down, connect the inner thigh. Some more turn out. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. If you're not turned out slightly, you won't get that inner thigh connection. So we really want to stay turned out. That's why we have the Pilates okay. V formation. Yep. Pilates V is when you're slightly separated from the the toes, not the heels. Again, so point up and flex, turn out, connect the inner thigh. Good. Going into our circle. So now he's going to do her, our big circles, the silent killer. So we're going to draw the foot forward toward me and then up toward the ceiling. Keep the leg straight, extend from the hip back and in toward the foot. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're focusing less on making a big circle and more on the extension out away from the body. And that's what will relieve your pain and make you um, extend from the midsection and everything else you do in life. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Last one. All right. So now he's going to switch directions and get that glute working. Yep. Initiating those glute muscles is key as well. Yeah. Where do you feel it right now? And yeah, my my hip. Yeah. Yeah. So you really, you, as much as you're stable, you're doing a great job stabilizing, you really want to feel it in that, the yeah. outer glute. Good. Perfect. And now we'll go into our obliques. Do you remember? Our what? Obliques. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, Lifting. Oh, yeah. Up. Yep. So he's going to open his palm towards the ceiling. Feet together. He's going to target this part and go ahead and extend up. Yeah. Yep. Keeping the feet together. So we're oh, oh, yeah, all yeah, yeah. This. All at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, exhale okay. and inhale. Exhale, good without rocking back. 
So we're keeping the hips stacked. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow, a little slower. <laughs> Good. He's a quick learner, guys. <laughs> Ten, two more. Awesome. Going into our clamps, we're going to bend the knees at 90 degrees. The knees come toward me. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring it some more. Good. So again, keeping the hips stabilized, he's going to open the knees without moving the feet. Good. Really teeny tiny movement, but really effective in connecting to those body parts that we don't normally connect to. roll over. This is a really fun one. So he's going to lay back on his back and his arms are going to be extended overhead. I'm sorry, down by your sides. Yes, legs are long, so lay all the way flat. Yeah. Perfect. So his arms are extended, hands are flat against the mat. He's going to lift the legs up overhead at a 90 degree angle with straight legs on the inhale. Then he's going to exhale, lift the legs up over his head. You can see his acrobatic skills here. Perfect. And now he's going to open and drop the toes to the ground very nice and then this is the control part so he's going to slowly reconnect his upper spine one vertebrae at a time rolling back down nice and slow so keep everything down relax the shoulders arms are long yes so there's a lot to remember in this one yeah. you come all the way up to a 90 degree angle on the inhale good exhale keep the shoulders down as we lift the hips up and over uh-huh and then extending all the way to the floor. Try and keep those legs straight if you can. And let's reconnect one vertebrae at a time using the breath. So exhale the air out, drawing the air out of the abdominals. Some long arms. <laughs> That's the hard part. So most people will try to tense their shoulders and bend the arms to. Uh, yeah, yeah. As I, as I try to focus, <laughs> relax the shoulders. Exactly. So really think about long arms, long fingertips. So if you come up to 90 degrees again. And up overhead. Good. Open and drop. Yeah, so really think about long arms at this point. And then slowly reconnect one vertebrae at a time like you're melting back onto the mat. Dropping the ribcage down, using the breath. Long arms, long legs. That looks really nice. That's a really difficult exercise. So, <laughs> give a little clap thank there. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Awesome. So, let's do our final exercise. So I'm going to have him actually come all the way up, stand all the way up on your... Stand all the way up? Yeah. Okay. He's doing great. You're doing great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're a great teacher. Thank you. So we're actually going to do a little push-up series. This will be fun. Okay. So I'm going to have you stand facing this direction. Mm -hmm. And all we're going to do is like we did in the beginning, but with an added push-up. So I'm going to have you drop your chin down to your chest. Okay. And do the roll down like we did in the beginning. So okay. you're gonna slow, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Head hangs loose, arms hang loose, and you're gonna go all the way down to the floor so your hands touch the floor. Once your hands touch the floor, mm -hmm. you're gonna walk yourself out to a push-up position. Okay. So you can do that. Perfect. So he's gonna have a flat back. Yep. And he's gonna do three push-ups here. One, two, three. And now he's going to lift the hips up into like a downward dog position, like you okay, did in yeah, yoga. Yeah. And then slowly walk the hands back toward the feet. Good. This is just a little simple variation of what we did in the beginning. Letting the head hang loose. Then he rebuilds the spine. One at a time. Let the head come up last. So we're really creating that long spine space between the vertebrae. Shoulders are relaxed. Gliding them down your back. Good. Neutral chin. Crown is lifted. Uh, take a deep inhale here. And now exhale. Good. You can do another if you'd like. No, I'll do one more. Sure. Just for the cameras. <laughs> Take those hips over his ankles as we reset. Good. 
as the sits bone comes down, mm -hmm. rib cage goes down, shoulder blades connect, then you stay neutral. I want to go ahead and flip up. And now you have to maintain this position today and tomorrow for the rest of your life, and then you're good to go. <laughs> okay, no sweat, no sweat. <laughs> uh, that's it. Oh, that was great. Oh, that that might have been my favorite uh, Facebook live so far. I I'm feeling great. Chelsea Lynn, beat that. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Shout out to Chelsea, his sister. She normally does. Hey, videos. Chelsea, I'm sure you're watching out there. You you should probably get down and do a few of those push-ups yourself. And everybody, for that matter, I think Pilates is a great thing. If you haven't tried it, maybe you should take a take a gander. <laughs> Well, that's it for today, folks. I look forward to another wonderful episode next week. I would love to hear from you if you have any comments about today's episode or any suggestions for future episodes. Please let me know. Write a comment here on Facebook or I'll give you my info for my pan my page. We can get my free guide. You can write a comment th there. It's DrewsInspirations.com. That's D R E W S, the word inspirations with an S. <laughs> dot com. All right, my friends, until next time, the best is yet to come. <laughs>